Electra is a follow-up to Daredevil, though it's less of a sequel and more of a spin-off. Daredevil was pretty average all around. It started out horribly and it ended well, so pretty much it balances out to a big hearty meh. Elektra follows Jennifer Garner's character who died in Daredevil, but is miraculously alive for this film. It's explained that she was simply resuscitated by paramedics, but instead of going back to her superhero boyfriend or at least letting him know that she's alive, she goes off to train with ninjas, and their master, Stick, expels her from the order for being too full of rage. So she becomes a contract killer. Elektra wants to take a break from assassinations, but there's a huge bounty out on an unknown target, a sum so huge that she can't say no to it, so she agrees. She's to stay on an island in a house for a while before being given the detail of her mission. While there, she makes friends with a random guy and his teenage daughter, and then of course, they're the targets, and at first she is going to kill them, but she can't make herself do it. She refuses the contract and the money, but is told that the client will send other assassins. The client are a clan of evil ninjas called the Hand who are after a treasure, and somehow this involves Mr. Five O'Clock Shadow and his daughter, generic teenage girl. Electra decides to protect them and gets embroiled in a battle between two ninja clans. Stick comes back, people explode when they die like in a video game, and she wears her comic book costume for all of ten minutes in the movie. Electra did really badly and pretty much killed all hope for another Daredevil movie, as they were using Electra to gauge interest in a true sequel, which is laughable because the studio knew that Daredevil was weak, and in marketing they tried to make it seem like Electra was somehow connected to X-Men, which only an idiot would fall for. It's like, oh hey, we have Jennifer Garner playing the same character she did in that movie you probably didn't like, but hey, it's actually connected to X-Men because, uh, cookies. Yeah. Electra is slightly better than I thought it would be, and by that I mean it wasn't offensively bad, but it was for the most part boring. It does become more interesting at the end, but the movie doesn't have enough action in the first two acts to make it worthwhile. The plot is really generic to the point where if you took obvious Marvel characters like Electra and Stick and changed their names, it would be any one of a hundred thousand generic ninja assassin movies. Seriously. How many times have you seen a movie about an assassin protecting someone that they were supposed to kill against the other assassins? Hell, sometimes they're not even actually assassins. It's basically the plot of Transporter, a movie about a guy who drives. There are a few moments where Elektra breaks through the sludge of generic ninja film tropes and shows a hint at being something more, but it's not enough as the cast is so clearly disinterested in everything that's going on. The sad thing is, the failure of standalone female superhero movies like Elektra and Catwoman made Hollywood think that people don't want female superheroes, thus killing off a planned Wonder Woman movie. I guess they never thought that people will go see a movie about a female superhero if it's good, but Elektra barely qualifies as average. I'm being very generous in giving this a 5 out of 10.